So, as I promised you in my previous video, today I'm going to show you how to apply the poly vinyl for releasing film. And uh, here I have two variants. This is one which I ordered from Turkey, and I I consume it. And this is one from Rexco, which is made in USA. Basically, it is fit better for me. You can use also this, being half price cheaper than this one. Uh, this is what was remaining to me. I am not going to use this because I don't want to combine them, even if they are the same substance, so it shouldn't have any reaction in between. But today I am going to use only this one. And this I will consume it for smaller application because uh, you have to apply or I apply minimum three layers. And I think this, I mean, I'm sure this will not going to be uh, enough to apply minimum three layers. Uh, this is my my rules. Uh, very uh, three layers, but very uh, um, not so thick. Very thin. Three layers, but very thin. And uh, some of my colleagues or my friends, they are applying until the mold uh, have the same color as the polyvinyl alcohol, blue or purple in instance. <coughs> Uh, I'm not gonna do this and I tell you why because I made a mistake as I said in my previous video to build the mold directly in fiberglass and I didn't apply uh, gel or cold gel. This is a very big mistake because it's hard to grind and whatever but also it's a very big mistake because it's harder to see the color of polyvinylic alcohol and it's very hard to see where you uh, apply it and I will apply it with painting gun, you can apply it also by brushing, but uh, this is, will take a lot of time and also the surface is going to have some irregularities, so this applying by spray gun is the best way, which is working for me and I recommend it also to you. Another thing is uh, you can buy directly polyvinyl alcohol in uh, spray, you can and you can spray. But I find this the best option for me. Before to fill it up, you have to set up your uh, air pressure on your line. I use seven to eight bars on my line, so uh, I have to reduce it to minimum to maximum four bars because otherwise you're not going to spray it very well. I mean, all the PVA will fly away. So I go, to, I will go to. Uh, the pressure. Now looking on my manometer I have around 7 bars on my installation. I have to decrease the pressure until I will get around 4. And you have to push because the real pressure you lift up, you push or you release the air a little bit more on the opposite. more okay so now I have four bars and this should fit perfectly for our application as I said earlier I'm not going to combine these two because I made it by two different uh, brands I open the spray gun open the bottle and then fill it. I'll put around 250 milliliters. And it's almost 300. Put the cap, put the bottle down. Secure the spray gun and start to apply.
that's it for the first layer. I look in the, in the light, in the direction of the light, because as I said, if this should have, if this had before another color, or if I will apply, for example, a gray ocean or a white one, I should be able to see the points. But now I just see if it's shiny or not. So, yeah, this is for the first layer, even if I have a little bit of polyvinyl alcohol or remaining the spray gun. Around 200 millimeters are enough for a layer for my mold. So I will wait this to be dry and then I will apply a second and a third layer. Here is a short example why you should apply polyvinylic alcohol in a very thin layer because it will fall down like this and problem is that it's almost nothing you can done. You have to wait to be dry, to be uh, possible to apply a second layer and a third one, but this will gonna impregnate in your laminate. So after that you should fill it up, so the, the laminate which you extract, you should fill it up with some uh, body kit or some polyesteric kit because this will gonna impregnate in your in your laminate, unfortunately. So this is a, an example of how to not apply polyvinylic alcohol. After the first coat of polyvinylic alcohol is dry, then we're going to proceed with the second one. And this time I put, I put 200 milliliter, milliliter of uh, polyvinylic alcohol to be sure that I'm not going to apply too much. So to see if it's dry, uh, the mold should be a little bit glossy, but uh, also you can touch from spot to spot to see if it's 100% dry. So, should be enough for the second coat. We're gonna leave it to dry approximately 30 to 45 minutes, it's depend by the ambient color temperature. It works for me at 45 minutes, and then we're gonna proceed with the third coat, and that will be the, uh, the last one. So, now we are ready for the last uh, layer. So that's it, the third coat of uh, PVA, as you see the color has started to change, now I'm going to let, it, uh, let this layer also to dry, uh, in the meanwhile I'm going to clean the tools, so to clean the paint gun, because the PVA is soluble in water, uh, the only things you have to do, you remove it, you uh, take it out or you disassemble, and then just clean it with water and uh, should be no problem about cleaning. So with, only with water should be enough for cleaning the tools. Then after I will uh, let also this uh, layer to dry, I'm gonna apply the laminate. First I'm gonna apply the whole gel, the laminate, and then uh, I'm gonna remove the laminate from the mold. But all this in the in a new episode. I hope you like it, you enjoy it. Um, hit the thumbs up if you like it. Uh, leave a comment below, and uh, that's it. Thank you very much.